Hi, I'm Vicki Anderson from Meander Publishing. We publish Machine Quilting Unlimited and Modern Quilts Unlimited magazines. We're here at Quilt Market 2014 in Houston, Texas, talking to authors and designers and finding out what's latest and greatest in the quilting world. Today we're talking with Lynn Krasik, and she's going to tell us all the exciting dyeing and ink things that she does. It's just terrific. Thanks, Vicki, for having me. Um, this is my first quilt market, um, my first time exhibiting, and it's my, also my first fabric line. I'm with Red Rooster Fabrics, and the line is called Inked. And the way that that started was I published a book with F&W last year called Intentional Printing. Yes, I and love that book. Thank you. And it's all about how to print your own fabric. So people started asking me if I sell my fabric, but I use paint. So it's not so good like if you're a quilter or you make bags or garments or anything, it's too stiff. So I decided to try to find a commercial line and I met up with Red Rooster and the rest is history the rest as is they history. say. <laughs> and I've been hearing a lot of buzz about your Get Inked. Oh, thanks. So maybe you should tell us a, a, a bit more about how how we can use that, how, how much okay. fun it is. Um, my, my biggest goal with the line was to, to create fabrics that would play nice with other fabric lines too because not too many quilters have you know just use one line so everything uh, the base color is hand dyed and then everything is either screen printed stamped or directly drawn with paint onto the fabric so I, I kind of like color a little in case yeah. you can tell yeah I, <laughs> I'm familiar with your color <laughs> yeah yeah so it's just it's it's got a lot of colors but it's also got neutrals to, to weight it so there's some browns and blacks and, and darker colors too and uh, do you have some projects here that you can share with us? Yep, I do. Um, I designed two quilt patterns. Um, there's one right behind me, it's called Interrupted. And I kind of go for a larger scale blocks kind of thing. I like. I just like the really graphic look. And then there's another one called Pathways, which is right behind you. And it's my love of orange and teal and, and brown and stuff like that. So it's always about the color for yeah. me. It's always about, you know, balancing it out and making it saturated. And Lynn, I've heard a lot of buzz also about your new thread line with Aurafil. Can you tell us something about that? Yeah, I was really excited. Um, I went to Spring Market and I saw they had a new line out of thread for hand stitchers. It's called Aurafloss and it's six-stranded floss. So I have a collection with them by the same name of F as the fabric, it's called Inked, and it's a lot of the colors are really similar. And um, honestly, I had stopped using floss in my hand stitching because I would shred it. Right. You know, it would get yeah. all fuzzy. Theirs does not do that. And I'm, I'm hard on my thread. Like, I pull it through the painted fabric and everything, and it's really smooth and it's, it's nice, nice stuff. Well, I'm, a, I'm a thread junkie, so I'm yeah. anxious to try that. Yeah. And the colors are, are just fantastic. Thank so thank you. you for sharing that with yeah, us. Thanks. And it'd be perfect for our our uh, quilters to do the big stitch. Yeah, that's a very yeah, that's what I very like. nice thread for that. Stitches. Yep. And how can our readers find you? I have a website called SmudgeTextileStudio.com. Um, I blog there, and I'm pretty active on Instagram. And my username there is Girl Loves Paint. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. Go figure. <laughs> it's too bad Carter's not here today. That oh, we could. Carter is Lynn's little dog, and he's just a star on Facebook. <laughs> so. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today, Lynn. Thank you for coming by. And we'll be excited to see more new lines from you. Thank you. Thank you so much.